I'm Sir Flobojan Thunderhammer. And I'm Teflon Frosthammer. And I'm Cabbage Tidehammer. And this is Whack. If Ampgard Knighthood means anything, you can't knife a motherfucker and keep it. And the thing that people need to understand essentially about arts and sciences events is that your scores don't matter. Do you want a black phoenix or a white phoenix? Jeez, language, man. We're yeah, on right. a freaking podcast, for fuck's sake. Mind-blowing experience, right? Hello, everyone, and welcome to WACT, where we discuss topics important to the AmpGuard community at large and talk with interesting people from around the foam fighting world. This week, we have on the super famous, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> Hogman from Come Try LARP. Uh, Hogman, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, introduce yourself a little bit. What park are you from? How long have you been in AmpGuard? Uh, what, I, I, I'm I'm the Hogman, uh, otherwise known as Hogbert Manuel. Uh, I'm from uh, a freehold, uh, the Tyrant's Thorn, and we are in Richmond, Kentucky. <laughs> I now, really, really like that name for the freehold. Tyrant's Thorn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, so you guys don't know this, but we are actually the tyranny of Winter's Edge because the first time we went to Clan, um, our monarch at the time. Well, the, the monarch is a tyrant. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. it's a tyranny. Yeah, that, how they how they did no, they did. So his thing said the tyr- It said the tyranny of Winter's Edge, and oh, then okay. tyrant. Yeah, so nice. you're you're gonna fit in great here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, you've been doing a lot of uh, social media stuff for quite some time. We wanted to have an episode where we talk to our guests about a part of the game that they probably don't. Uh, they probably enjoy quite a bit from watching your stuff and a lot of the other stuff that's been put out. Merrick's been doing some things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I know there's a lot of other content creators out there doing things, but this is a really fun part of the game. Anybody can get into it. The more we help grow the community, the better. Uh, And on top of that, you have a really cool tournament coming up. Links to this are going to be in the description. You guys can see it on the screen there, too. Uh, By the way, hey. New layout, new recording process. Oh yeah, 4K. Yeah. I mean, I'm so excited for the OBS tie-in. This the quality, is great. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you might be able to actually make out the games we have on our shelves now. Yeah. How how amazing! I've, I I hear I've got to get you guys uh, some stuff to fill out your your tiles in the back here. We've got your your live laugh LARP stuff is coming through the, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. through, the through the laser printer soon <laughs> enough. <laughs> Oh, that's sick. <laughs> we are going to be doing some work on the, the back of the studio here uh, soon, so we'll be sure not to put that up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, how long have you been in the game now? Uh, I think I think this is my fifth year, depending on how much we're counting the pandemic. Uh, you know, it's uh, three years on and two years off, I guess, is, is kind of where we're at with stuff. It's the second uh, anniversary of your third year in the game. Right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, 2016 was my was my first big event keep uh i think i'd been in the game i think three weeks at the time and so i was like hey you should go to this event you might enjoy yourself and, <laughs> just maybe you know, <laughs> like it's one of the biggest events in Ampgard or anything like you know that. right right <laughs> i wonder how many people, 900 people <laughs> <laughs> i wonder how many people that's their their amp guard story because i also went to an event within the first month or so of uh of joining the game and it's what hooked me. It's what kept me coming back. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a firm believer that if you can get a new guy to a kingdom event, he's he, he stands a much better chance of lasting that two or three years than he does, Man, you know, if he's just at park every week. That's yeah, getting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Get getting them to that getting them to that one big event where they can see a couple hundred people swinging foam as opposed to eight people on the weekend. Mm-hmm. I think makes a, a huge difference. A huge difference. Well, and there's usually a higher like quality standard at those events too. I mean, people are in garb the entire time. You know, sometimes right. you go out to your weekend park and it's like tunic and shorts. It's so hot you have to do something. You know, right, right. And you're and you're not just ditching for you know the first half of the entire park day or the entire time you know you're at the event there's a lot of other stuff that's going on so they really get to experience more of what's happening in the world of of the game yeah yeah absolutely so okay so second anniversary of your third year in the game i know the pandemic's been kind of rough for everybody um yeah talk us through so you three weeks keep then what I started, I started archery. Uh, I got, I got into a little bit of the archery at that keep event. Uh, there was a guy there named Tristan who kind of taught me how to shoot a little faster. And, uh, okay. I, you know, I had no idea what I was doing. That was my first time ever shooting at another human being with a bow before in my life. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he kind of walked me through how to, 
Right. <laughs> right. And uh, he kind of taught me what was going on. I got home and, and kind of learned a little bit about it. And, and honestly, the game almost lost me. I, just what I was talking about, it was, it, you know, it gets boring going to park every week. Uh, sometimes, you know, if, if there's not something new there for you, uh, it, 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 you know, there's always that point where people start to lose a little bit of interest and, and I got there, but then Phoenix league got a hold of me and, you know, I got it, I got into the competitive aspect of things, uh, with PL and fell absolutely fell in love, uh, be, being able to go up and, you know, fight, you know, competitively with folks for, you know, three or four games, uh, once a month was a big deal for me. And that's what, that's what really honed me in and really got me into learning how to play the game and get good with classes and, and that sort of thing. So that's actually interesting. I know um, you have a, a, what is it, an archery tournament format now? Is that sort of mm -hmm. born from all of that? Can you talk us through some of that? Yeah, so the it, it doesn't come from Phoenix League at all. The, the biggest thing with okay. the archery format for me is, is most of the tournaments that I've seen have, have all been pelling for lack of a better term, right? Like if, if you were, if, if you're a stick jock and you go to a tournament and you were to fight a Pell, the standing still, that's what we're doing in archery for the most part. So we're shooting a target that's, you know, 20 yards away or whatever it might be. And we're seeing who can hit it the most times and it's standing still. With this, we get competitive and we, we have another person that is coming in and it inquires speed and then as well as accuracy in it itself. You guys are looking around like something is... Oh no! Oh, Flo's looking at menus and stuff, and it's making me nervous because stop recording is highlighted, and I'm just like, yeah, oh, he's he don't keeps, accidentally hit it, so, don't do it. He so, keeps mousing over things in the OBS interface. Yeah. So what's been going on in the while you were talking there? This is our first time with this new setup, of course, and I was adjusting your volume in OBS, and then uh, looking over at uh, at the P8 because we have it's a it's an audio thing. and then his mouse just rested over stop recording yeah i mean because it stays there i just actually want to to make them nervous no nope. <laughs> we're fine sorry <laughs> you're breaking the fourth wall i know <laughs> so, so so the the tur the tournament uh good stuff it, it it inquires you know speed and then uh as well as accuracy in it and and i think it really helps archers get to a point of their actual skill against one another as opposed to you know who can hit this target that's farther away than we would ever be shooting at anybody in game anyway. Well, so, okay. So it's combat archery, like one archer versus mm -hmm. another, um, yeah. is it like number of arrows. How's the scoring system work for people that want to try this at their own parks or anything sure. like that? Absolutely. So you get six arrows each, uh, and you start at lay on you, you, you cannot have an arrow knocked. You start with however you want to hold them, but they cannot be knocked. And at lay on, it's the first one to loose all six of their arrows, uh, when that happens, it is over with, and whoever has the most hits wins, and everything counts: garb, foot on ground, no head or neck. But every oh, okay. other contact, every other contact is a point. So the objective is is to get rid of your arrows the quickest and the most accurate. Uh, and and with the quickest part, if you are the first one to lose them all, if it's a tie, the first person to dump their arrows would would get the tie breaking point. Okay. Interesting. That's really um, cool. What's that? What's the distance like though on this? Is it like thirty feet you, apart or we we st we start out at forty feet apart? It really doesn't matter. What what ends up happening is people get closer and then farther apart. Okay, uh, you, you know, so you'll find people will run up when they're ready to fire. They'll run up, get close enough to be able to shoot, and then they'll retreat as they're reloading or whatever it might be. And it's this constant, you know, push and pull back and forth between the archers. Do you have boundaries set out, or is it just uh, kind of no, open ish? No. Yeah. So we, we, we thought about doing boundaries. The, the issue is, is it, we just implemented a rule that says you can't run away. Right. So you, what you can't do is, is shoot somebody and then turn around and, and run the opposite direction. The Reeve can call a halt to that and bring you back. And if you continue to do that, you'll just be disqualified. You, you know, you're, the objective is to be there and to fight. It's not to, you know, get off one shot and then take off running in the opposite direction. So you can't be hit. It's, you know, it's to be combative. Gotcha. That makes I like sense. that. I like that a lot. I do too. Um, so what got you, uh, we, we've kind of been discussing how you got in and some of the, uh, the stuff that drew you like the archery and stuff like that. Ooh. What got, what turned hogged man into come try LARP? Yeah, that's a good question. Ooh. That is a good question. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a, been a long time coming. I mean, I, I enjoy, I enjoy media marketing and, and, you know, I used to be, I don't know. I did a lot of Snapchatting back in the day when Snapchat was, a, you know, first around and, and got in with a group of folks that, you know, taught me how to be on social media in front of a camera like that and do short 
media stuff and and be a human being as opposed to a voice box for a company right so, so there, there's a big had a difference premium between, snap. what's that <laughs> i said so hogman had a premium snap i did yeah yeah <laughs> I, I wished i had cashed in on it right <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh but but learning learning how to learning how to do some of that social media stuff and not be a monotonous you know head in a box and you know talking about a product and just selling stuff but how to actually just be yourself and and I don't know I guess let people come to you as as the person that you are is is a much better way to go than you know pushing that product whatever that might be. Yeah, it really is. I uh, I don't I don't know if we've ever talked about this before, but uh, I grew up in a like when I was going to college and stuff in a theater background, uh, I was a music major and theater major and I dropped out like all good music major and theater majors. <laughs> but one of the things that you have to take many, many classes on or just spend a lot of life experience learning is how to be normal in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds weird because you would think ah, it doesn't matter that the camera's there, but it does. You, it, it, it takes a little bit of time to really trust being yourself. Um, when you know that a million people are going to be watching. So I, I totally and That's a realistic that. number. Yeah, it, totally realistic. <laughs> also, everyone, if you uh, haven't already seen it, you should go watch Come Try LARP. Let's see if we can push one of those views up to a million. Um, oh, God. <laughs> we'll, have the, we'll have the link to the TikToks down in the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty, once you, get, once you get to that comfort level, a lot like you're talking about, a lot of people underestimate what it takes to enunciate yourself, right? And and not talk too low and be real timid and shy. You have to speak up and I feel attacked. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not only that, but to, to kind of weather the, the frankly unwarranted criticism you'll often get. Um, mm -hmm. Like, like I just, you know, I look at, I watch come try LARP is like the first thing in my feed every time I open TikTok, and there's always people like that wouldn't work if they were real weapons. And it's like, okay, right. first off nerd, shut the fuck up. Oh yeah. Second, I I'm really good at Kendo and it, you can just come try this I, stuff out. You know what the worst thing is? What is, is, it? is when, when you're out there and they're like, yeah, you should all show up in garb and then you get there and you're in garb and then like literally fucking nobody else is, but you, and then you look like oh, a no. total fucking moron. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's a lot of like, you have to, um, you know, you have to keep a good attitude about it, even while people are being frankly kind of shitty about things sometimes, you yeah. know, especially the newcomers. Cause this is, I mean, come try LARP is, is a big you know, way of selling our game to the public, right? Well, I thought we were Absolutely. talking about social media things, not monarch positions. I, it can uh, be both. <laughs> Burn. Burn. And to be clear, I too, my time. <laughs> to be clear, too, when we're talking about people being shitty, we're not talking about other people in Amp Guard. Um, Hogman oh. has put his stuff out there for the world to see. Anyone mm -hmm. can pull up this TikTok, right? And, yeah. you know, you have to remember that to a lot of people, they pull it up and they're like, guys are dressed in funny clothes is hitting each other with wacky bats. So does, uh, does It's TikTok not even that. The, the people that are like, oh, these guys look weird are easy as shit to brush off. I read those comments and I get mad <laughs> on your behalf because they're like, oh, you could never spin on somebody like that in real life. A sword wouldn't. And I'm like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, this we're is, not in real life. We throw fireballs. Tag. This is Actually, tag. you want to know what's you know what's wild about this? Uh, I was thinking about this the other day. The they got this, he's a 12 year old kid is out here skateboarding and he's out doing what Tony Hawk has ever done in his life with these, you know, spins and whatever the hell it is that he's doing out here. But I, I, I think foam fighting is really in the same thing, right? We're progressing as a sport and, and I guess as an athletic thing to be doing and people are learning faster and quicker ways and shots that are getting fancier and fancier because we're constantly honing that skill and we see something and then we incorporate it. Then we add our own little twist to it as we go. And you see all these things that are starting to progress that are just absolutely wild. Uh, that, that just never would have happened at any other point in history because there was no communication like that, right? Things mm -hmm. were taught. And if you screwed up, you died. Uh, right. And here we get the opportunity to try wild stuff that <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Well, and, and Anthgard 2 has has diverged pretty far from real sword fighting, I think, in Absolutely. general. Like, it never was real sword fighting, but the weapons used no. to be heavier. And, you know, what? but now we're pretty damn far from that, you know? Just like if you look at, like, okay. early football where the helmets were, you know, little shower caps, and now it's, like, <laughs> a, an actual sport. <laughs> you know, it's, Added leather. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Now that reminds me of the '90s era of football, where you had the like the blitz football style shoulder pads that came up to here. Yeah, they had the big collars on them. To keep yeah, them. 
I love going. When you were concussed, muscles. your head couldn't actually rock to any side, so you could keep <laughs> playing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, more specifically for, uh, say, like a park that was interested in doing some stuff to help promote their park, mm -hmm. um, what are some simple things that a park could do along those lines? Uh, Bucharest. Amp Guard has a right there in was it Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee? Yep, Buccaneers uh, respite. The border. Yeah, mm -hmm. Buccaneers respite. They they have a they have a TikTok. I think they've picked up several folks locally from their own personal TikTok. I think it's two to uh, two to four that he's picked up from TikTok. Yeah, I he's think. wow, he's killing it. He just and he just had a good video hit yesterday. I think uh, that's he's just got over a thousand followers, so he'll be able to go live now, which is oh, dude, that's cool. Shout out yeah. Ruben, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, good job, man. He's, he's doing quite well. I think he's sixty thousand views on that newest video that he's got. So it's oh, it's wow. good stuff. He's he's got some stuff cooking, uh, which is good. Once he can start going live, I'm really excited to see what they can do out there. But TikTok's a great way. Facebook boosted posts are a good way to do it. Uh, Facebook ads, if you want to run an event, is an excellent way yeah. uh, to generate some uh, interest in your in your local areas. I can tell something's wrong with me because you talked about it, and I'm like having to grab my chair to keep from grabbing my phone and opening TikTok and seeing which one got 60,000 views. <laughs> I like, know, right? I'm right. Right. like, <laughs> like vibrating away. Yeah, you just can't <laughs> yeah. help it. What are you... <laughs> it's bad. It's, it's, it really is, but it's so worth it because like I get to see, was it Storm Wraith or something like that is another one that has... Uh, there, I think a Dag Park or Bellagirth Park or something's primarily anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, not yeah. at all. Um, and it's just cool. Like it's, I get to see all these people that I've never met before. I'm like, ah, these are my people. I'm connected. Well, and there's yeah. also, it seems to me like there's almost an un, uncountable benefit where you, you know, you may not have, you know, or like Buccaneers Respite's gotten a few people to come play locally, but how many more people have they gotten to play at another chapter across the country? We can never right. really know. Let alone come try LARP. Cause you got, I think you're probably the biggest of the, the LARP channels, at least with like, foam fighting maybe yeah dedicated dedicated larp i i might be the biggest dedicated foam fighting shay terrison is killing it i think she's oh, yeah. right at a hundred yeah she's right at a hundred thousand followers oh wow and she Jeez. doesn't she does a ton of larp stuff she does some D, &D stuff as well but that's an account that's just she's absolutely smoking it down there they are albion dagger here in south carolina mm -hmm. yeah that's where the sons of terry uh is. yeah oh that's really cool yeah, yeah. and so they, they'll she puts up some of their foam fighting stuff and they get, I mean, she'll tag me and sometimes 30 or 40 comments in one video, you know, <laughs> go check out these guys, check out the link in their bio. And so she's one account that I, she's probably sent 50 to 60 people nationwide to, you know, different parks all over the place. That's amazing. Yeah, and that's and great. the kicker is it's not, it's absolutely wild. Uh, and it's not me. That's the other thing about it. Right. So it's like, you know, you can say, well, he's not recruiting all that many and blah, blah, blah. But when you get into this absolutely just explosive thing that has happened over this past summer with the number of dedicated foam fighting accounts that are actually on TikTok, and they're all these just, they're just rays of light that are shining to come try LARP.com. And, you know, if you need somewhere to go, go check it because they recognize that, you know, yeah, I play Dagger here, I play Amp Guard, and they may end up playing a completely different game but their game may not have coverage right. in the area that that person lives in. Right. But, but this other game will. So that's the, that's the hand in hand part of how all of this works is mm -hmm. they don't have to go to six different websites to find a place to play. Yeah. It's so it's, good. It's a bit of a force multiplier, right? Like there are all these things that point back to one central source. And then in, in return, you point back to all of them. So the more Correct. TikToks there are that are, you know, showing foam fighting, it sort of just boosts the whole thing. Correct. Absolutely. And it, it's like the modernized web links or whatever it was. Web that, ring. Yeah, web ring. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of neat. <laughs> You're dating yourself really badly there. Hey, I only <laughs> remember that because of uh, Roger's video. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, okay. So uh, the TikTok by and large is, is a super cool thing that you're doing, but Come Try LARP is kind of the, the umbrella that it sits under. And that's another, uh, an entirely separate thing that you're working on, right? Uh, they kind of go hand in hand, but okay. yeah. So the 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 website is there. The TikTok is the is the funnel, right? And then the the website is the actual drip, I guess, that will take people to actual parks. Uh, so coming coming from an external source, whether that's Facebook or TikTok or Triller or whatever whatever it might be, where somebody sees, uh, you know, foam fighting or LARPing in general, then they can once they come to that web page 
it takes them from wherever they're located via Google driving directions in three clicks to a park uh, or a chapter or a club or what, you know, a realm, whatever it might be for that particular game. And it is very intuitive, very quick, very streamlined, very easy to use. It's a hell of an undertaking. Yeah, no joke. Yeah. So the guy, the guy that I have doing my web design stuff is the same guy that did the uh, Kentucky State uh, Obamacare website. If you ever, if you remember oh, wow. Obama, yeah, the guy that when Obama got up, he was like, Kentucky's website is doing it right. That's my web guy is the guy oh, that did shit. that stuff. He is what an amazing designer. This person. That's ridiculous. That's super cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty wild. Pretty wild. And uh, just so people listening know, Come Try LARP is not just Amp Guard. Come Try LARP is DAG, Bell, SCA. I've even seen like lightsaber fighting. Armored Academy. Combat Yeah, League. lightsaber, Boo Hurt, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, Parlor LARP. Is that how you pronounce that? Boo Hurt? Yeah. Okay. We've yeah. been guessing about a random way, I think, every time yeah, we've said it. Is the T size of Boo Hurt? Is it, is it, anyway. So I, 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 in Kentucky, we call it Boo Hurt. It could be. Uh, yeah, who knows what it what it <laughs> We're in Tennessee. <laughs> Kentucky and Tennessee are yeah, about yeah. however we want. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it has it it has gone from you know, obviously my niche is foam fighting games, so amp guard, dagger here, Bellagarth, that kind of thing. Uh, but we're a LARP, right? So we want to include those different role playing things, but we're also very competitive when it comes to combat sports. So then it kind of bled over into you know, the SCA and getting into Boo Hurt and HEMA and things like that to bring in, you know, mm-hmm. those. So a lot of that on that front end, there's some other development that's happening that people can't see yet. But w- eventually, once you get to it and you click on find a chapter, it'll ask you, are you here for role playing? Or are you here for combat? And then it'll it'll that's sort really that cool. out so that's that really once there's 800 sites, you're not getting overwhelmed with stuff. It'll sort it out for you for what it is that you're looking for. That's actually really cool. I actually had a, uh, this is weird, but um, we just had a kingdom level uh, mid range. Is our mid range? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. mid range. We just had our mid range. This, this past weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I was driving down, or as I was I was riding down, because Flo was driving, um, uh, a buddy of mine texted me who I worked with Comcast. I, I worked out with Comcast uh, 10 years ago, more and Something more. like that, yeah. 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 And uh, we, we hadn't talked in a while. Like, we're Facebook friends, but I never see his, you know, whatever. And he's like, hey, um, you know, I, I, I checked on come try LARP and I wanted to see if there was amp guard in the area. I don't see anything for Knoxville. Cause I don't think our park is actually on there. No, we fucked up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well listen. Yeah. Right. And th- no, that told me, I was like, fuck, we need to be on there. So like, that is something I need to do later this week. But he was like, Hey, do you still live in Knoxville? Cause I know you play. I see the pictures on your Facebook all the time. Like I just didn't see anything on the, the come try LARP radar. And I was like, yeah, you know, we've got radiant Valley right here. He's like, I live five minutes from that place. I was like, well, yeah. what the hell? You know, so. Yeah, we straight missed that Wait, one. So you, so you <laughs> have a guy that you know that saw my website? Yes. He, he, so he had previously played Nero, I think. I don't oh. want to get this wrong. I think it's Nero or something like that in Middle Tennessee. And he's like, yeah, it's just too far away. I wanted to find something like right here in Knoxville. And I know right. you play, so where are you playing at? And I was like, oh, here right. in Knoxville. He's like, I didn't see you on the Come Try LARP site. And I'm like, well. Swing yep. and a miss. First off, that's right. I'm happy to help. Second can- off, <laughs> <laughs> oops. And, and so that's the thing, right? Is like, is like when when you know, a lot of folks are like, well, I don't need to register because when somebody something comes up for Knoxville, right? It's like, well, then we just tell them it's in Radiant Valley. But what you guys don't see is that on those comment chains, there'll be 400 comments mm-hmm. of people are saying, "Hey, where do I go play?" And then you have to go track down, and that's just not. It, that's just not efficient especially oh, for content gosh, creators no. myself or shay you know we get three to eight hundred views or comments on a a uh, page it's it's impossible to go through there and tell everybody where to go play yeah so that that i mean for me it was like oh i've, I've got to figure out how to get radiant valley on this thing but then also like how cool is that that like they used it and they still knew to ask me about it like we lucked out but you know mm-hmm. yeah but yeah. how many of them we missed like yeah that was for the, not I was registering like, or like, shay. Yeah, yeah i know I right like, so like, true if he didn't think to contact me he'd have just never I legit somebody I legit thought that somebody already registered us like 100%. No, as far as I'm aware, I don't think we are. Lauren, where are you at? You're, and that's that's your job. Anybody, here's the thing, <laughs> what you just what you just said right there, 
anybody can register. You don't have to be the hey, PM. See, that's really you don't good have to know. To be the monarch. You can just be the dude that showed up to park, and you might have started last week. It doesn't matter. It's a directory. There's no position or permission needed for anything. It's just it's publicly made available information. To anybody. The only reason we don't go do it is it takes about 15 minutes per park for us to set them up, and that's if we know about the park being there and we know all of the information. So mm -hmm. it takes a little while for us to do that. If we were to go through and try to track down all that information. At one yeah, time. no, it's but 15 time. minutes to, you know, there's one person right there. If, if our, if we had already been on there, then cabbages buddy would have just went, Oh, there's a park here in Knoxville. Yeah. Uh, and shown up. <laughs> yeah. So if, if you haven't already uh, figured out by listening to us here, come try LARP. This webpage is a database of LARP based things. So, uh, you can uh, go and check on LARP stuff in your area. You can go enter yours, which you should do right now. You should pause this video and go enter 15 minutes it. could save you 15% or more on park recruitment costs, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you should pause right now and go go enter this, unless you are one of our 98% people that listen while you're driving on Spotify, in which case you can pause it, but it won't do anything for you. Um <laughs> And, and go and register. Take some uh, time to reflect yeah, on the fact that you haven't reflect. done it yet. Yeah, once you <laughs> yeah. get to wherever you're going, just go ahead and do it. It's no problem, right? <laughs> Write a note on your hand. Um, but yeah, it's a great website. Uh, it can help you uh, get recognition. Um, we, Like I said, we have a, an example uh, here. There were some people talking about it at our event, too, just the Come Try LARP site uh, in general. We have a lot of younger parks, I'll say, parks that have just now recently yeah. joined our kingdom. And... So the question always comes up, you know, what can we do to grow? What are some things your parks have done to grow? And the answers have changed pretty significantly because they have access to tools that we just didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, right. uh, but yeah, uh, everyone should go check it it's, out right now. Links will be in the description down below. So, I mean, you can click that uh, whenever you arrive safely at your destination. But also, it's it seems like a really cool resource and something that uh, hopefully... Someone at every park, like, I don't know, a champion or a PM, might just go through and take 15 just minutes to guy. do it one day. Yeah, just yeah. anybody. I, yeah, well, just I mean, that's that's something that's kind of interesting, too, because of the amp guard like dynamic of we have, quote-unquote, authority over us at our parks and stuff that you don't need permission for 95% yep. of the stuff that you want to do. Just go do it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And, and the, great, the great thing about this website, or secondarily, one of the great things about it is it's passive. Right. It's unlike making business cards or going to a con or doing all of these different things. All you have to do is enter your information and it's just sitting there. And then when Shay makes a TikTok or Buccaneers Rest makes a TikTok or I make a TikTok and somebody in your town sees that TikTok and says, Hey, I want to go do this. And they go to the web page and you haven't had to do anything. You, mm -hmm. Once you've done your part, it's done. From there on, it's all passive recruitment. So you're not having to stand on a street corner and hand out flyers and yeah. all this. I can't tell you how many how many years like Bunch and, and Metro and a few other guys went to conventions. And I'm not sure that we got anybody from them. We it's, randomly. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing, especially if you're paying, conventions are tough. Yeah. Like, yep. If you go in and you, you rent this booth for a couple hundred dollars and then you, you might get 300 people sign in on your sign in sheet. But mm -hmm. what I want to know is how many people showed up to park. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Zero, and conventions are weird, too, especially like two. some of the bigger ones. Right. Because it's people like Dragon Con. Everyone's flying in and doing these other things. And you're like, well, yeah, cool. Yeah. We have Amp Guard over the world. You're from Detroit. I don't know any parks in Detroit. Sorry. Yeah, there right. might be one. And Shinzo, I was talking to Shinzo. I don't know if you guys know him or not. Mm -hmm. He's down somewhere down in that area, the uh, South Carolina or something. But he th they were going to Dragon Con there. Dagger here park was. And he's like, hey, we need to get cards with a QR code on them so that you know, if somebody's flown into Dragon Con from Washington State, they'll be able to go home and pull that up. I did not get those to him in time, but that is something that we need to work on for cons is so that these parks or these booths can give out of towners, you know, that card. And they can be free Vista print cards. They don't have to yeah. be. Yeah. That's a way better way to go it's, about that. Yeah, just get the information <laughs> in their hand in a way that they'll hold on to it, you know, and then Yeah, it's it come try LARP. It, it's just a basic thing with mm -hmm. a QR, QR code, code that they can scan. Yeah. My God, it even has a watermark. Cabbage and I, through our work, we, we travel quite a bit for work to different yeah. uh, conferences. And we started out with these big folders that have all of what our work oh does. God. And it was really comprehensive. And it had everything that these 
uh, that our customers needed. I hated and, those so yeah, much. They hated them. Nobody wanted to carry them around. We switched over to uh, a smaller package that had less but more pointed information. Uh, and then some of the conferences started doing a QR code, like you said. And it, it, we, we went up, I don't know how much. I, I couldn't even pin a number on it. Two, three, four hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, you got to wow. think about whether or not they're going to want to keep this. You know, if you hand them a big... I don't want to carry that. F- yeah, well, right. hand them a piece of paper. Yeah. It's going to get crumpled. It's going to go in their pocket. It's going to go in the trash with all the wrappers later on at the end of the day. Like, just- I don't remember who the comedian was, but he's like, you know, people hand him a flyer as he's walking down the road. And he's like, thanks, I'll throw that away for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, so true. Exactly. God, it hurts. So if somebody was interested in getting into uh, social media, and I want to be really no. clear... I want to be really clear when I say this. It, well, Cabbage said no. Good night, everybody. Um, yeah, no. it's, it's good talk. Thanks. Um, <laughs> if somebody was interested in getting into social media, and I want to be really clear when I say this, I'm not saying that your goal when you start is I want to be the next Buccaneers respite or I want to be the sure. next come try LARP. Um, if they're just interested in trying to help uh, help out their local park and maybe get a, a, a few more people or just do a fun project for their local park, What's a good way that they could, uh, they could get started with that. You just got to do it. Uh, it's, it's like anything else. If you don't, if you don't show up, it's just not going to happen. You're never going to get that gym bot. If you don't go to the gym, you, you have to, you have to put in the work. You have to show up and you, you know, I know we're all get right attacked to again. You can, all, <laughs> you can all tell all four of us have gone straight to social media and none of us have gone to the gym. Uh, <laughs> Jeff lifts a little probably. <laughs> uh but but you, you gotta you gotta get it done right you gotta get out there and do it and you know tiktok you you may blow up and you could you can make some of the greatest content ever and you may never get recognized you may you know what i mean it, it may never hit the for you page and it may never take off it's wild how that algorithm works but you have to put it out there and i guess more to answer your question what can they do locally just make sure you're hashtagging with your city on it right so oh, i think that's point. one of the biggest things that buccaneers respite has done is in all of theirs they actually type in there, you know, Bristol, Virginia, Bristol, Tennessee, those are part of their hashtags. So when people are in those areas, it will pull up, you know, their on their TikTok local people so that they'll see those TikToks tagged with that locate location. And I want to touch on something that you and I, uh, Hogman have mentioned before too, that, um, everyone that is coming out has the capability of doing this. Even if you don't ever want to be a TikTok superstar, this right here, is one of the best cameras on the market. Doesn't mm-hmm. have any zoom or anything like that, but it has a 11 billion megapixels. Um, it's something that you're going to have with you anyways. And this is not a wallet. This is my phone. I know, don't know if you can tell from the. <laughs> he, he has <laughs> his phone in a wallet case so I can steal his entire identity in just one. Swipe. All at once. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah we that... could work your car keys into that somehow. Like. Uh, I think that there's a little loop on top that we can fill oh, on. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, you could just do a quick video at your park. You could just take a couple pictures at your park and you could do it just to say, hey, I'm going to post this up to wherever my park posts this stuff just so that we have the memories. And mm-hmm. you could post it up to your kingdom and say, hey, here's some of the really fun things that are going on at my park. It also doesn't really matter what you post. Like, yeah, Ruben had this birthday thing where like they were opening some gift or something. And that was one of the highest uh, viewed things for a while that he had. And it was just completely unrelated. Unboxing yeah, Ru- Ruben is at Buc- Buccaneers respite. Yeah, he they had a birthday party. and They opened up this gift and I couldn't figure it out either. I was like, what is yeah. what is happening right now? How is <laughs> I, this guy getting 9000 views? It's a mystery, yeah. right? Yeah, I, <laughs> I want to know how the TikTok algorithm works, because I liked a video of a boat one time and now I'm on cartel TikTok. It's fantastic. Forever. It's awesome. It's great. I mostly <laughs> yeah. it feels illegal to watch sometimes, but it's fine. And yeah, I'm not hating on you at all, Ruben, but I am going to say that like sitting down and putting a lot of thought into the next topics we're going to discuss and the things that we're going to cover and where we want to go, go next and then watching you guys get drunk and open a birthday present and get like 80,000 views more than we did. Yeah. Smarted sure. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a question actually. Uh, well, no, I guess we can't. We, we will never know the answer. I was going to say, is there a thing that TikTok likes the most? But no. TikTok. TikTok likes TikTok the well, most. Well, so this is it. it. You need to watch. If somebody watches the video twice, that is what they like the most. 
Oh. That is, so if somebody watches your video, if they're interested enough in your video to watch it again, that's when it's going to get to more people. Hey, when was the last time you guys went and watched a Hogman video? I would go back and watch some of those earlier ones because I just now did that. I I have probably <laughs> I boosted, have actually I have probably I have boosted you quite a bit because I watch a lot of TikTok on the toilet and sometimes <laughs> I got to put the phone down <laughs> and then it just it's plays like in a loop seven or eight through. times right. while I you know take care of business. Hey, so you're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I I went back and watched Atog smoke Zeb uh, <laughs> probably like thirty times. Like that was my bedtime for for a little while. Like oh, I hit him over the shoulder again. <laughs> what oh, you guys man. don't know uh, so hogman came to our park to film that and uh, sir gillen zeb uh and uh uh atog uh were there and uh <laughs> the we made fun of it because everything that went on video was atog beating sir gillen just over and everybody. over and over again not e just sir gillen <laughs> yeah not just sir gillen he beat everybody he stuck him one time though buddy that, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. that one-handed stab <laughs> that he He's oh like, man well and so we Hogman has two cameras going to get both angles, and he's like, "No, no, check the other angle. Hit my hand. Hit my hand. I swear." <laughs> <laughs> but this is a, this is the kind of thing that I was talking about, though. Like, all of these are great, and if we we keep on joking about the TikTok stuff, and if you want to do that, I highly encourage you just to go out and do it. Like Hogman said, you just got to start. Um, but you don't that has that doesn't have to be your focus when we're talking about social media stuff. We're just talking about putting things out there, Take any the, kind of content. Yeah, you know, I. I Here's a challenge that I'm going to throw out to everybody that's listening. When you're out at park, take one or two pictures. Everyone that has a phone, take one or two pictures while you're out there. Take pictures of people hanging out and laughing while they're getting a water break. Take pictures of ditching, a battle game that you're in. When you die, just take a moment to grab your camera and snap a picture of uh, somebody out at your park doing stuff. And then post them back up somewhere when you get home. Um, you know, That's a start. That That's what we're talking about when we say, just get started. Um Man, that's what I need to that's do. That's the hardest I'm, part. I'm always sitting on the side like, dude, it's too hot to function. And I should just bring my camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just now had the thought. Leave me alone. <laughs> my gimbal gets in. Um, what's today? A Sunday? Um, yeah. Wednesday. Oh, nice. Which one? Which one? Did you get a digi? Uh, I did. I, I got the, nice. the Ronin SCR. SC? Two? Yeah. Or two. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I just got two of those in today, actually. I got, oh, I got two. So I've got... I've got four now. Uh, so I got the <laughs> first Sony A6500s and four gimbals. Uh, and this tourney is just going to be. Uh, oh, yeah. We need to talk about that. The first of tens, the first of tens on this, there, there is no tourney on Friday. It's just open wax. And oh, nice. The, the first of tens that we're going to see coming out of there. Uh, Brett's going to be in town. Raven's going to be in town. Oh, man, uh, we, I wish we're we could hoping be there. some other folks are coming in. It's going to be absolutely wild. Uh, but the video that we'll be able to get with two camera angles on these fighters is going to be just mind blowing. Yeah. The, uh, uh, man, I wish we could, uh, we could make it there. I really want to see those guys. Well, I don't know if we can make Friday, but I was thinking about going up Saturday. Yeah. I can't. You work? Oh yeah. Just quit your job. <laughs> Just, please just don't be, i'll have to cover yeah, I was for you say you'll just have to cover for me then <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah the uh going to events you know what uh, what i was talking about was more of a local park thing but going to an event is even better go to an event and just again it, i doesn't matter how much of a stick jock you are doesn't matter how much of a not stick jock you are just you'll probably have your camera on you at some point go to go take some pictures. The random pictures that you may take walking around might be the ones that somebody goes, oh man, somebody snapped a really good picture of me. They get tagged in it, you know, and, and notified. It's little things like that. If you have any interest in stuff like that. Dude, a year takes 400 pictures an event and I literally scroll through each one. I was like, I wonder if there's a good one of me. Yeah. So actually, I don't know. Everybody um, does that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah I, they, they fish for themselves. So actually, um, Obscura got her... Eighth, 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 eighth yeah. dragon. Ooh, um, yeah. And as far as I'm aware, yeah, congratulations. Also, my favorite region of all time. Sorry, other regions. Yep. It's just how <laughs> it's got to be. Um, but I think you were actually one of the people that put in the award rec because she contributed a bunch of photos to Come Try LARP. Or a lot of the you, photos got used. You asked me that. I did, I did not do that, <laughs> but uh, she absolutely contributed a ton of stuff to Come Try LARP uh, was, and was one of the first ones. That's cool. uh, to do so. Yeah. The, we, we've got a couple of photographers that are in there 
uh, and the, the purpose of that is, is like you were talking about, because not a lot of folks were taking pictures at their local park. Uh, so there's a shortage of, you know, available media out there for folks. So we wanted to give people access to quality media that didn't have a watermark on it. Right. So, you know, she came in, I donated a bunch of my stuff and she donated a bunch and so a couple other photographers did. So they don't have watermarks on them so that people can see, you know, they'll get access to stuff that doesn't look like it was purchased, I guess. Mm-hmm so to speak, you know, it's, it, it looks like it should be there normal. Then none, I'm of, gonna, the, none of the unregistered handy cam number six. <laughs> or whatever. Right. So yeah. I'll add one thing then. If you have decided to take me up on my challenge and have taken uh, two pictures, just two pictures, every single person at your park, take two pictures of something and post them up to your Facebook group when you get home. Cause I know you have uh, one. How would someone uh, send them to come tr- uh, try LARP? Uh, contact us at come trylarp.com. The biggest thing, the biggest thing to do, if you're going to take new pictures like that, we actually, every single park, when you register, the person that registers, when they submit their email address, they will get an admin and a login. Uh, so you, you can go. change what it, cause I can't, there's no way that I could keep up with, you know, changes at 300 different locations. It's just not, it's just not mm-hmm. possible. We have, we have a little over 200 locations right now. Uh, on the website, and it would be impossible for us to to keep up with all of that. However, uh, if uh, you know if you're taking pictures, you want to add those to your site, give them to your to your admin, whoever that is, and then they can get them uploaded. And each park has unlimited, literally unlimited storage, so they can store whatever they want to, photo wise. Yeah, I was I was going to say, and if you want to help, uh, come try LARP out a little bit because remember, going through all of these takes time. Well, there's also hashtags, right? If you post Hampton Dark yeah. pictures that you want to get out there, you can use the Come Try LARP hashtag, and that can help boost things as yeah. well. Yeah, that w- that's what I was going to say. The uh, uh, You can also do stuff like uh, you can have all your parks submit their pictures to your regent, um, and then your regent could go through and see if they can find some uh, some really good pictures that they thought would really uh, highlight your park. You know, it- go ahead. I was going to say, and, and take when you're saying to just take pictures of whatever while you're there, take pictures of the stuff you enjoy, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. I, I enjoy the fighting. I enjoy watching the fighting. So that, that ends up being what I naturally progress towards. But man, if you're into A&S and you're into sewing, get, you know, do stuff, do media based around what you enjoy. We're, you know, we're not going to grow A&S through random people if people aren't making A&S content. Mm-hmm. So if that's what you enjoy, absolutely make content towards that end. It may not be great content when you start, neither is mine, neither is anybody else's when they start out, not but enough. keep doing it. It will get better. I promise. What you're saying, Lucas. Uh, what is uh, your saying about we're getting... not going to take you to the hospital? No, no, that's our belted line saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, those are our words. Oh, this is Jake the dog from Adventure Time. Sucking at something is the first step to being g- at good at something, right? <laughs> that's not it either. Oh, but though, though, <laughs> those are that's wise close. words. Um, <laughs> you have a motto about because I'm the type of person that I want to get everything in a row before I even start oh, the project. Oh, yeah, better not perfect than not done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, we have we have really worked to balance each other out there. Where uh, <laughs> I I want to wait forever to start because I want to get a lot of stuff together, and Luke's is like, eh, fuck it, we'll go ahead and start, and we'll just improve oh, it along the way. That's right, fuck it, we'll do it live. Do you Roll. know how many <laughs> episode ones of this podcast we shot before we aired one of them? I forgot, and it was because I stole the SD card from you and said we're putting one up. We did do that, yeah. 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 <laughs> Some point you just got to roll with it. Absolutely. So we've we've hinted at it, and I want to talk about it because it's going to be in the links uh, below, and also it's in the the bottom left quadrant of our uh, super fancy new video layout. Um, <laughs> talk to us about the Come Try LARP tournament a little bit. I know you mentioned there's uh, yep. first attends on Friday, but what's the tournament format? Is that archery tournament going to be there? Uh, fill us out a little bit. Sure, uh, archery tournament Friday night, uh, 10 p.m. is the earliest that it will start. Kind of once everything gets real good and dark, and we can get the lights up and running. Night the, archery uh, one sounds of, terrifying. What's the <laughs> archery at night sounds? It yeah. does, doesn't it? One of the one of the nice things about this, we're going to have uh, four different sets of lights. I think we're going to have 120,000 watts of holy crap lighting out there. It's going to be absolutely not absolutely yeah. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> wild. The the night fighting there will be 24 hour wax. Uh, non-stop fights with the exception of when this archery tournament is running on friday night um, so we'll do the, the archery tournament on friday night saturday we'll get up we got four categories open non-men's open uh single and sword and board 
uh, are the four categories that we will have on Saturday and then the five man on Sunday. Um, we're not following exactly different games rules. We're not sponsored by any games or anything like that, but uh, the uh, singles tournament will be mostly amp guard uh, is how you will recognize that. And then the five man will be mostly dag is how you will recognize that. Makes we sense. won't have uh, no face shots from archery. That's the, you know, one of the only things I can really tell you that's will be different from dag and in that respect, but. Yeah, so it's and that's it, just because you have people coming from Ampguard that don't have arrows that would be considered dag safe at that point. Yeah, well, and and it's it, it it a whole bunch of things, but we have to make those little changes in order to be not that game, and so that's <laughs> that was one of those <laughs> changes to call. I'm not a big fan of of uh, shooting people in the face, believe it or not. Even when I go play dag, uh, I just you know I see more people getting hurt, getting shot in the eyeball than I have you know, doing just about anything else. Yeah. Uh, whether, whether it's half draw, whether it's, you know, you know, very safe dag arrows or not, whatever it might be. Uh, when you get shot in the eyeball, that, that shit sucks. Mm -hmm. Well, and also the head is such a small target. I mean, aim for center mass, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's blocked by the board and just hit him in the Listen, face. Right. How many times have I shot you in the dick? That's, that's <laughs> we're talking small targets. It's <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so, so, um, <laughs> how many other audios are we gonna? How did he find there? out? Yeah. <laughs> how does he know? I just, for some reason, because I live in the South, and you were like, "Oh, you know, archery tournaments used to be just pelling." I want like a, a pair of truck nuts twenty feet off that you have to. <laughs> I I need help. I don't know. <laughs> the epitome of high class. So, yes. So, uh, so we'll have a. Uh, 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 we'll have the uh, open fights Friday, okay. uh, and then archery. You said Friday night tournament's yep. going to be Saturday. Yeah. After the tournament Saturday, we go back to just uh, open fights, uh, mm -hmm. ditching things like that. More, yep. I'm, I'm sure, more best of tens and whatever else is going on there. Whatever you, whatever you want to do. Yeah, the best of tens. I. The only reason I say the best of tens part is because I'm. I can't imagine that if you're a fighter and you're trying to get better, that you're not going to take advantage of being able to fight. You know raven in a best of 10 from two different camera angles so that we can come back and review that fight footage later you know that's right. that is 100 of what is happening here is we're we're trying to get the footage together to start building that base of content so that we can really start you and know. by the way if you are someone listening to this right now it, hogman just touched on something that's really really important um if you're someone that's interested in getting better at fighting, and, and I'm taking off my my Surflow hat and I'm putting on all of my triad gear for just a, oh. a, a moment, <laughs> um, record yourself. Have your friends record you while you're fighting. If you're looking to be a better archer, have your friends record you while you're pulling your bow. Make sure that your form is good. A lot of our game um, is form over a lot of other things. And having... It, it, this isn't even just for a social media thing, but... Uh, recording yourself like this can teach you if you're overstepping. It can teach you if you're getting off balance, if you're moving with your your body too much, so you're leaning too much instead of moving with your feet to reposition yourself. It's just a good idea. And then on top of that, occasionally you will end up with footage that like what Hawkman gets that's really, really good. And as you do it more and more and get better and better at it, um, if then you wanted to move into a social media thing, you've already got a lot of good starting footage there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's not luck that, you know, Shay and I and some of the other folks live, laugh, LARP get, you know, higher than normal views is because we're practicing at it. It's something that we're, you guys might be skilled at fighting, but we're skilled at shooting content, right? So we, we know how to move and get ourselves positioned in order to get, you know, what will get us a better chance at getting a good shot in a, mm -hmm. in a good clip. I don't know why, but. I'm reminded uh, you're when you said that it reminded me of the Canterbury Tales there where he's, he's Oh, we went so different in directions on that. <laughs> you say your thing and then I'll say mine and you'll understand why. So where it went to for me was uh the the priests talking to uh um I can't remember uh the the character's uh name and saying, you know, we'll, we'll you need to pay us or we'll send you to hell and the he's the poet and he says, "I will immortalize you forever." Um and that was a, that was the role that you're uh, that you're playing there. The the assumed position yeah. of power there. You're like, no man, I, 
I'm going to make you famous in one way or another, and I get to choose which way it is. <laughs> so, so it's funny. It's funny that clip of Mist where he has the double kill and he ends up he ends up going three for four on that ditch line. If if you, you may or may not know what video I'm talking about, but mm -hmm. I told when I went and loaded that thing up. I looked at him. I said, I'm about to make you famous on TikTok, man. I'm not even kidding. Cause I, I knew that video was going to absolutely kill. And I think, I think between the two of them, between the explanation and the actual video, it's got almost 2 million views of you know, the guy in the purple bucket hat. Uh, <laughs> pretty wild. So yeah. what was, what was yours, Cabbage? You, had... you, you were talking about, you know, like, oh, some people are good at fighting. We're good at, at shooting video. And, you know, and, and, you know, that's the thing that you, you hone yourself on is shooting video. And I was thinking, yeah, that's why there's an amateur section on Pornhub. <laughs> Correct. We, yeah. We really did go in way different, directions different directions. Better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We're way up the hierarchy there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be down here in the, the basement being a horrible person. <laughs> Back before, back before Pornhub took off the, uh, I, I guess, the, before they shut everything down, I actually started loading LARP content to Pornhub because that was <laughs> there's not so, even kidding. There's Xavier so much Berry's. stuff on. Yeah, there's so much stuff on Pornhub. At one point, I think that they had all of... Uh, Hamilton. They had yeah. all of Hamilton. They yeah. had all of uh, Bob Ross, uh, Painting with Bob <laughs> Ross on Pornhub. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like the guy who did the Painting with Bob Ross, but he did all of the paintings with his dick. Yeah, did you guys ever see that? <laughs> no. We watched different videos. We did not see that flow. Hey, bud, are you good? Hey, if Pornhub recommends it strongly enough, I have to check it out. <laughs> the internet wouldn't lie to me, would it? Uh, this conversation what? went a weird direction. Just, just straight God. down. <laughs> Somehow that's making it into the new intro. Uh, I don't know yet, but we're going to figure it out. Oh, God. you got to give them fun names, too. Like, you know, Giant Viking Skewers Little Twink, and then it's just a stab or whatever. You know, like, fuck it. Have fun with it. The original whack podcast. God, and having yeah. disgustingly professional, as Sir Michael once called us. Yeah. Never again. <laughs> Oh, we've been wondering, too. Uh, you might have noticed our, our scrolling banner there. Um, we have a little bit of bet going between the three of us. If you could leave in the comments where you whack it. Um, <laughs> we are, we're curious to know. So this is not like the platform that you use, but in the car, in the shower, uh, in bed. Um, I have uh, my money on a particular thing that I'm not, I don't want to poison the well, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. Are we, are we talking about foam bats at this point? Have we completely gone off the rails here? So we're bit? trying to put together a sizzler reel and some, some cool content coming up and the, the premise is where do you whack it? And so we need yep. like two, maybe 20 second video clips. Like where do you whack it? It's like, Oh, I whack it in the car. I whack it on my break at lunch. And it's like, when do you listen to our show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but okay. We're going to have fun. With it. Now I understand. Oh, I forgot. I like, so for those, <laughs> so so for the viewers uh, we you can see if you're watching youtube you can actually see the scrolling text here but because of the way the setup's done uh, hogman can't actually see any of this so we can put anything up there we want i have no fucking clue what is, <laughs> is, it, over it's, is it over here is it over here down it's down here yeah, yeah that way yeah, for that you way, yeah. yeah over here okay yeah. we'll do a big brady bunch everybody look at the <laughs> <laughs> so um the uh, you got you got started in all of this and you have uh, uh, become pretty famous with it. You have some friends that we've discussed uh, a couple of different names on there uh, mm -hmm. that have uh, that have started coming up uh, in the uh, social media LARP crew, I guess, mm -hmm. um, too. Um, and we discussed if someone is interested in getting into it, uh, how they do it. You and I kind of went into some of the uh, crazier camera gear that we have, and we talked about the fact that your phone is all you really need, too. I say all of that as a recap to then uh, ask you uh, one more question, and then I think that uh, we will just about be time to go into if you have a cool story uh, for something like that. Yeah. And this is also social media, uh, social media related as well. Um, so kind of tying all of this together. I have decided to get into it. I've made a couple of videos. I've put out my uh, my stuff on uh, my Kingdom page and my uh, on Facebook and whatever other platform, TikTok and whatever other platforms are going on. Um, this is the question that that we often get about podcasting stuff. What is my next step? Panic, uh, <laughs> <laughs> fear, 
<laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I've started putting this stuff out. What is what is my next uh, step? And I'm that's that question might sound easy. The answer might be something as simple as just keep doing it. But that's it. You that's know, the. Answer. It's that easy. Do it again. <laughs> You've done it. Now do it again. Just rinse and repeat. Yeah. And what you'll find is is that part that you thought was really hard that first time is not going to be as hard the second time. Then all of that shit that you were worried about is now easy. And then, then you're going to start trying to put flourishes on it because you're getting done with whatever piece of media content it is. You're done in no time. That is super easy to do. And then you're right on to the next thing. The next thing, you know, you're making really good content, engaging content that you got to put the reps in. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. But you, but you have to, it's, it all goes back to step one. It's, it's make it, post it, repeat. So let me break this down a little bit more. Let's say that I've decided that I, I did this a couple of times. I decided that I really liked it and mm -hmm. I'm looking into maybe getting a little bit better editing stuff. What do you use to do your editing with? If it's on TikTok, it's just TikTok. If it's, you know, if it's a TikTok meme or whatever, or if it's shot directly through the camera. Now, if I go in and I, you know, break out that two camera angle stuff, then I go into Premiere Pro and we're getting into a whole nother ball of wax into, you know. Yeah what that is but uh, you know i use adobe to to go in and do my my editing yeah i i do as well and um i don't say this as a as a first step for everyone to go out there and take there's absolutely no reason to spend i do on. it was mine was it, it? <laughs> yeah fuck yeah listen you're there is the thing about the thing about adobe premiere pro and with with uh the sony vega or whatever it is there's a couple of different programs that are out there but there's a there's an ass ton of content on youtube that will teach you how to do step-by-step, -step, even the most basic of things. So you can literally type in, how do I load video into Premiere Pro? And it'll show you. How do I make a cut in Premiere Pro? How do I do slow motion in Premiere Pro? Whatever that is, there is a three minute video out there that will teach you everything that you think you don't understand or you know you don't understand how to do, but it'll walk you through specifically how to do those things. And uh, again, you'll be chopping up video in no time. So. Not mean to cut you off i'm so no, sorry no, no, you're okay yeah to kind of really peel this back a little bit more to a more generalized thing like someone who's like just decided they're going to do this right what is the the steps there other than just doing it like uh you know filming it editing it and uh what else is there to it like what kind of steps are there there uh are you talking about Something uh, that you see on my YouTube channel or something you see on my TikTok channel? Uh, well, let's do, I guess, a, a TikTok for now, because that seems to be the easiest to get into. Sure. Uh, so if, it, if it's a TikTok that I'm recording on my Sony camera that I'm not recording on my phone, uh, you, you bring it into Premiere Pro, you turn it into a vertical format instead of a horizontal format, and you edit those clips to what is, of course, interesting. You slow down those clips to where people are seeing the shot. That's what folks want to see. Even if you've never seen a foam fight before, here's the thing you can, somebody that has never seen a foam fight before as quick as these guys are and as many shots as they can throw in three seconds, it could be 12 or 13 shots getting, getting thrown between two or three people yep. in a matter of just a couple of seconds. And there's no way anybody can focus on all of that stuff when you can slow those down from, and you have the a 6,600, is that yeah, correct? I do. Yeah. So, so that one, that one will do 120 frames per second. Uh, and so will an iPhone, by the way. Uh, yeah. But it'll do 120 frames per second. Uh, and you can bring that down to one fifth speed and it look absolutely beautiful uh, and really get in there and hone in on those shots and then bring it back up to speed. And when you put that to music on TikTok on some kind of trending audio, it, uh, it makes for really good content. Yeah. Make sure if you decide to put music in there that you are using. Oh, uh, no, it's fine on TikTok. TikTok is utter chaos. Oh, are you going to download TikTok? This is how I know you're full of shit and you don't have TikTok. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed that all of those people had, like, the copyright stuff listed. Yeah. Uh, mm -mm. Nah. No. TikTok is a, a Chinese company, and so they do not care about American music rights, and it makes for a fantastic app. If yeah. you're going to be on... There's a couple of things to that. So you, you can actually... It, it's not... That's not... An, it's You're close. It used to be the Wild West. It's not as bad anymore. A lot yeah. of that stuff is registered, and it actually links up to iTunes. So if you go into, like, a, you know, a new pop song, whatever it might be, but you can go in and literally go to iTunes and download that song. So a lot of that is tied in there is how they're uh, monetizing those things, yep. but oh. like 
you end up with Disney movies or whatever. There's no fucking way that Disney <laughs> is allowing <laughs> audio to be used on. But they can't. I mean, there's just it's almost impossible to, to track down. And I, I think as long as people aren't actually monetizing it, they've recognized that it, it's a fool's game to try to chase all. This you know, stuff. I, I, right. after you said that, I kind of realized that that like looking at some of the weird Disney stuff, the, the weird videos that have come out to Disney music that, yeah, Disney would have never signed off on that. So <laughs> let me amend my statement. If you're putting it up on YouTube, Correct. make sure you're using copyright free, free music or that you have permission to use that music and are tagging it in the correct way, or YouTube will just burn you with fire. Content ID is a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Epidemic <laughs> sound uh, is a great one. Um, they, they, you can, you can get royalty free music. It's a couple bucks a month. Uh, and you, you only have to pay for it one time. You log into your channel, your YouTube channel, whatever it is, and it will, uh, register that song to you. And then you're able to use it on your YouTube channel. It's, uh, that's it's really cool. A wonderful, nice. wonderful resource. All of that audio that I have on the come try LARP, uh, YouTube comes from epidemic. Yeah, Stream Beats Audio is another really great one if you've never heard of it. It's uh, mm-hmm. Harris Heller. Uh, How the runs fuck it. did I make our theme song like from scratch? Oh, I could have just done that. Yeah, I meant to tell you. Um, <laughs> the- <laughs> My idiot ass learned Ableton over the course of like two weeks to just like make some music. Jeff nice. and I had to keep you busy. Um, bah, <laughs> you first off. <laughs> no, um, but yeah. Uh, Lot, there's a lot of really good uh, royalty-free music out there that you can uh, that you can grab. <laughs> Again, less important on uh, TikTok, more important if you're doing any of the other platforms uh, yeah, as well. I'm, I'm not sure face, Facebook hasn't dropped the hammer on me yet. I won't even fool with YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. like they, they'll have copyright strikes. I know very quickly, but uh, and that could be on you know something playing on the radio in the background. So I know they're. Yeah overly serious about it but uh facebook facebook right now is letting us get away with a lot of stuff and tiktok's just the wild west i love it um do you have a we're, we're kind of coming up on that point so i wanted to know and maybe we can plant this and then talk about something else for a little bit but um do you have a, a most memorable amp guard memory or a craziest amp guard story anything like that that you want to share um just for people listening that, that kind of stick around for that bit that we put at the end usually <laughs> I, I, I don't get too crazy with stuff on things that I can talk about on podcasts. I yeah, guess. that's okay. fair. <laughs> Wildest TikTok, like TikTok you never thought would blow up or anything like that. Because we can look Wildest specific TikTok to do that. that I have is is probably the dagger here TikTok to the jackass audio. Never thought it would do a thing. <laughs> uh, 1.3 million views, I think. And it was a it was just a it was just a trial that happened and this guy happened to die in a fantastic way and uh, it's really what opened my eyes to what TikTok is capable of doing recruiting wise. We had oh, thousands of people that were looking for oh, I remember this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It, comment after comment, where do we go play? And I had to send them all to daggerhear.com. Oh, oh no. Man. Oh, no, that's rough. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that, that's legit the one that I was like, ah, TikTok's definitely way more valuable for us than than I originally thought. Because like I downloaded it during the pandemic, like every other millennial, and was like, ah, I'm just bored and sitting at home anyway, so why not watch videos? Uh, and yeah. then saw some you know random LARP content every now and then, and it was like, ah, whatever, you know, no one's gonna watch that. Put a finger down if you downloaded this app as a joke, and no. yeah, right, no yeah. joke. <laughs> yeah. But after seeing that one and the, I don't know how many comments were, where do I do this? This looks really fun or things like that. And I was like, uh, I've misread the room here. <laughs> yeah. And I did the same thing. Travis Nelson uh, is a guy in Illinois and he was, he, you know, he had, he and I had talked about using TikTok for recruitment. And I told him, I was like, there's no way you're, the problem is, is that you're going to post it. It's going to go all over the world. And then you have to track all these people down. Mm-hmm. And, and that, I thought then that TikTok was going to be useless. And he's like, this first video that I have has 130,000 views on it. And I'm like, well, now wait a minute. Now we need to. Yeah. And it's just his park in a gym uh, underneath basketball goals. Oh, I have seen this. Yeah. It is just, it is, I mean, a great video. Obviously it has a ton of views, but it's very unassuming if you already play, right? It's Mm -hmm. not, it's not attention getting, Uh, but it absolutely smoked it. And that's when it kind of opened my eyes. And then, I'm not sure if that's how the directory came to be so convenient, but that was, that was the moment where the wheels started turning of how do we aggregate 
all of this traffic that is coming because I know it's coming. It's just mm-hmm. a matter of when. Who and when grabbed it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. That's really cool. I didn't know that. How hey, how common is it to have 130,000 views on something? Like that's That's a good question. Uh I think I have five TikToks that are over a million right now. Um and generally if they get to a hundred thousand, they'll get to a half. You know what I mean? So it, it's you know, hitting that hundred thousand mark, how common is it? I don't know. I it it a lot of that depends on one, how much content you're making. Like okay. Live Laugh LARP, he he puts out eight or ten TikToks a week. I can't keep up with that. It's just not what it's just not <laughs> what I people do. Um but you know, so he he gets a lot of a lot of them that are twenty to fifty thousand views, a lot more of them than I do, but he has a lot more content. You know what I mean? That he's that he's producing. Yes. He's a couple of times you're throwing out like hundred thousand, million, whatever. And I'm like, is it that? Is it that easy? And then no, the answer is no, it's, it's not. It's actually it's actually harder now than it was two years ago. You know, because now now you have while you have more people on there, you have more people creating content. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the real estate is more expensive, right? For you to get on the for you page and stay there, your content better be fucking good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that's that's all there is to it. Better be engaging musically. Uh, better be engaging visually. It's got to have the package to stick around very long. Now, that's not to say you can't make stuff for your niche, right? Because right. I, you know, I can, I can make niche content that'll do well, but it just will, it will not hit the for you page for very long. Right? Huh? That's interesting. But, but my followers will see it and engage with it, share. But they, you know, we should do a TikTok page. <sighs> It could be Is about disc podcast? golf. Jeff, you get should. on it. Oh, damn it. They're, they're actually, Jeff, you're doing I'm a TikTok. Really, the, probably the better one it's to you. do this. It's a sad thing. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're, I believe they're going to start doing TikTok stories like they are with Instagram. And if they do that, it changes, it completely changes the game. It's already personal. But once you get into a daily story situation like you have on Snapchat or Facebook, we're really getting into you know, game changing territory at that point. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And everybody's trying to do stories. I think Twitter did it and then gave up on it, but Twitter, whatever they're going to do. <laughs> right. All right. Pictures use that. I like my Twitter. Leave me alone. It's a very <laughs> curated feed of garbage. Um, all right. Well, uh, Everybody, be sure to check out the Come Try LARP tournament. That is the 20th and 20, 20th through the 22nd of this month. Um, it's August, right? It yep. is August. Yeah. Oh, it is August. God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so 20th through 22nd of August. Uh, where's that going to be at? Campton, Kentucky, in the middle of fucking nowhere. As but all good foam fighting tournaments should be. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, if this is so far out there at night. If it's not cloudy, you'll see the you'll see the Milky Way with your naked eye. It is. It oh, is really out cool. in the middle. It is. Well, if when you're, you have the lights off. I was going to say not with those. <laughs> when you have off. your hundred and twenty thousand watts of yeah. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get on the other side of the ravine. But yeah, absolutely. It's uh. It, it is out there. There is there is nothing around. Uh, but uh, the site is the site's in good shape. Brand new roads uh, in there. We've got some good camping. We've we've just done a ton of seating in there so that the uh, camping areas are in good shape. Nice. We'll have the lights in there for the field for the ditching at night. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It'll be a good time. Really That's good time. amazing. Um, so links are in the description. Be sure to check those out. Uh, Hogman, thank you so much for yeah, your man. time. Yeah, thanks yep. for coming, man. Enjoy it, guys. Thanks thanks for having me. Roll this outro. Go. Hey everyone, thanks for listening. And if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on YouTube or Spotify to get notified about new episodes. And make sure to follow us on Facebook for announcements and more.